when you realize how central this industry is to our economy and to our way of life. You can't help but feel a sense of responsibility to make sure that we provide this safe, affordable, and reliable product that's so important to the American people. What we do in our industry every day is vital. We heat homes, we run businesses, we run hospitals. We are the essential service in today's world. There are a number of challenges that the utility industry faces in the future. One of the major ones is refurbishing this great infrastructure that's been the envy of the world. So we're going to have to be restringing cable, replacing underground cable, deretrofitting generation plants, going to be compliant with evolving environmental rules. That's a multi-year, multi-decade, multi-billion dollar challenge for the industry. I don't think we can assume that we're going to be able to solve our energy needs by one particular energy source. We've got to find ways to make sure that all of our sources of power uh, continue to improve their environmental footprint so that going forward we're able to use a market basket of sources of energy. Another challenge is the issue of affordability. If you look back over the last 50 years or so, uh, the real cost of our product has come down. And one of the reasons it's come down is we've used technology to make our operations better. So you've got this old infrastructure, you've got customer expectation, you've got a delivery system that may not be able to adapt. You know, someone has to pay for this. We have to manage that economic impact as well, particularly as we're going through a tough time throughout this country economically. So how do we deal with this? We, we have to be open-minded, very welcoming of new ideas. Make sure that as this technology advances that we can see how it can work because it clearly can benefit our customers. Despite the fact that we have major challenges that we face, I am absolutely confident that we will work through those issues and emerge even stronger using innovation. Growing up as a kid, one of the popular comics that I used to look at when the Sunday paper came out was Dick Tracy. Dick Tracy had TV wristwatches and you'd think, well that will never happen. And yet today we have GPS devices, iPhones, thousands and thousands of applications. You now have the computing power in your pocket uh, that you couldn't have dreamed of uh, with a whole room of computers back then. The pace of change is unlike anything we've seen. Scientific knowledge is literally doubling every decade. Given the interconnectivity of everyone in the world, there are geniuses and innovators out there, thousands of Thomas Edison's and other great inventors that we might never have heard of because uh, they're in some obscure location. Now their ideas will surface and we can bring those ideas to bear to develop new technologies. It's like a living organism. It's going to evolve, it's going to grow, it's going to adapt, it's going to mutate. We have to be ready to deal with it as it changes. We're going to have to elevate our game, bring new resources, new ideas, uh, new ways of looking at things. Take this myriad of scientific and technological development, integrate them effectively into our system, and use them in ways that are going to be useful to our customers. Uh, we introduced an app to an iPhone, iPads, where you can actually identify yourself as a customer, report your outage, and get an update on your outage. We have the green button where customers can access their account information online, execute a program to download that information into a usable format. They can take that information, look at it, understand it, and make better decisions. This is a dramatic change in the way that we interact with our customers. It's really exciting to be able to work in an industry where we can take these technological developments and improve our reliability, improve our service to our customers, uh, and reduce the cost of a product that is absolutely crucial to our economy. We understand the role that we play, but there are many, many other players in this process. Whether it's the several hundred thousand workers in the electric industry, the millions of people involved in the supply chain, our technology partners, regulators, policymakers, and certainly our customers.
Nobody knows what the future is going to be like, but one thing I am very confident in predicting is that this industry will use innovation. We will be at the center of this nation's energy future and making sure that the lifeblood of our economy, which is electricity, continues to be available to all Americans. Just over a hundred years ago, this industry placed its stamp on the world. We changed the standard of living by introducing electricity to everyday life. We're gonna to get to do it again.